Hello, hello there and welcome back to Napalm's newest news and today we've got something really special to talk about, the second announced premium reward of the upcoming new battle pass and the first one to actually talk about because while I like ships and boats, even I say really not great things about the Type T-51A Japanese patrol boat, but this, this is more like it. The BB-155. And uh, when I looked at the footage, it, it really reminded me of a really awkward mixture of a ME-262 and a Heinkel 219A7. And when you read through the dev blog, which you also can do by clicking the link in the video description down below, you get the impression that this is an alternate version of the TAR-152H1 with which it shares a lot of things in common, but yet is probably different in multiple ways, especially when it comes to its usability in uh, Air Force battles. So let's talk about it bit by bit. So it's really designed for high altitudes and uh, seems to have really lackluster performance at low altitude, especially the or low roll rate because of those uh, huge very long wings is low and uh, you have no bombs and rockets but that's fine by me and uh, when you look at it it is really really fast at 15 kilometers it reaches 690 kilometers per hour that is a really great statistic the question is if you get there in time in the first place and if anybody bothers to follow you and uh, if then the battle is not decided already because air rb right but it's in theory great for custom battles for collectors for wearables um, this is really great so the problem is that at the deck you're really slow and clumsy, um, the roll rate is bad and also the climb speed with 13.5 meters per second isn't really what I would call quick. Um, now the armament, a 30mm MK108 and two 20mm 151s using the all well and loved Mingeschosse. And so this is where the similarity, the high altitude performance and the armament, uh, where the similarity it has with the TAR 152H1 comes from. Now, as you can see here, the skin and those huge radiators, um, this is where the similarity to the Heinkel 219 comes from, uh, from when I first saw it. It's, it's a really beautiful aircraft um, in, in a certain way. And I also really dig the four bladed prop. So... There is one more thing. This was designed by the fellow player Daniel Joy Division Saitsev under the revenue share program. That means that if you uh, get this thing, um, well, you are supporting a program that by itself is really great and we really don't see uh, enough of this. For example, the before mentioned Heinkel 219A7 also comes from this program and um, I can't wait to see it in game although its actual impact and performance I think for how War Thunder Naval uh, War Thunder Naval uh, War Thunder Air Battles work this is not that good even though it's designed as a high altitude bomber interceptor I think that it does well it's just a question if it does it in time and that's it already for this informational uh, dev block review, if you will. Um, I'm really looking forward to this plane one way or another. And that's it for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You know how to like this video and also um, subscribe if you want to see more of this. See you in the skies of War Thunder.